Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Tuesday the 16th of February. Sure is beautiful out here with the... I like that, you know, where it just looks like it had a dusting. Doesn't have that threatening deep look to it anymore. What is that Madison Abbey doing? What are you two knotheads doing over there? Yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's, God, 36 or something. It's warm enough that everything's still in its melting mode. Heck yeah. I love that look when it's sliding off the roofs. All right, let's roll. Look at all this fog out here over the snow. How amazing is that? There's all the horses out there. You can make that out. I don't know why that fog and the snow just looks so cool. Look at the rim rainbow popping out in the mountains out there. Heck yeah, that's cool. Well, there, little woman. Yes, I don't mean. Tuesday has arrived. And all is well. <laughs> yeah. That was a nice, it was mostly even dry roads. Yeah. Most of the wetness was, well, from the melting snow. Miles deep of snow on the shoulders where they come through and plowed everything. Yeah. Well, we're driving was good. Yeah, it was nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Have yourself a wonderful Tuesday then, Mama. Thank you. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. It's not as crazy out here as what it was yesterday, but it sounded like a waterfall out here. All the snow melting off the roof and it coming down through here, it was rushing. Still, <laughs> it still sounds like a waterfall. Look at them gutters. It's amazing there's still that much snow, but you gotta remember this is what 55 or 60,000 square feet of building with a flat roof. <laughs> How about this? A test ride at work. You think, oh, and immediately it hasn't rained for hours. Gum it. Why me? Why? <laughs> I'll be a son of a gun. Watch it dump on me as well. Well, at any rate, <laughs> here we are on a test ride. Everything's wet because of uh, all the snow melt, but this is a 2017 R1200 GSA. It's in for its second, second service, kind of combined with a with an annual. Getting pretty close to uh, needing a, a rear tire. He's got the Anarchy 3s on there. And his fob, his fob battery was so low, it just simply wasn't even reading anymore. You know how you get the low fob warning? It just didn't even know a fob was, oh, what did I get myself into here? Yeah, buddy. I don't know what I was going for, an ice ride. And what was I just saying about that tire? <laughs> Take it easy, Leroy. We should probably kick her over into rain mode or something, huh? Road dynamic duro rain. Let her catch. Come on, catch. I let go of the throttle. Oh, there it is. We'll put her in super sensitive mode. This is also my first ride with my uh, glasses on. Remember the last time I tried to ride a motorcycle with uh, prescription glasses? I ended up, I think I made it down around that corner by cost less there and uh, took them off. <laughs> it was weird me out. I don't know how that first place got, got that prescription so wrong. I was shocked when the guy was a little flipping the little thing back and forth. He goes, there's what you have now, and this is what you're supposed to have. And you like this. I take off, and the rain comes. 
been on this thing long enough you know there's little sun's out and it gets a little cloudy and i'm going no please let me take it for a ride when i'm done but you can't rush it you know it just takes what it takes and uh just a little bit ago the sun was out <sighs> oh look at the crazy rainbow back there i don't know if you guys can see it through the trees Look at that. Where's the other end of the rainbow? <laughs> oh, we I must have done the first service on this thing. There's certain things I do that no one else does. Just kind of a an OCD kind of thing, I reckon. <laughs> that uh, I go, oh, yeah, that was me that was in there last. It's always nice to be the one that works on the same bike again. Because you don't have to worry about things being under-torqued, over-torqued. Everything's just where it's supposed to be. Well, I bet there's a kid or two that's, oh, I guess you wouldn't slide down that because there's a big water hole at the bottom. I was going to say kids probably slid down that hill. swimming you go down that one good lord is it wet out here again this is just from the uh, from the snow melt it's like we woed up a bit on our uh, rain here so I can kick that shield down I can't stand the shield being up in front of me like that I can see over it but it just I don't know annoys me too many years of riding sport bikes and naked bikes, dual sports, those kind of things. Just You never had anything in front of you. Look at that. There's some collection of water. I've noticed some of the ditches in Toledo. Man, them things are hot. And I think the snow is like getting wedged in some of the culverts and kind of backing things up a little bit. stopped sort of didn't I oh there's that rainbow in my mirrors heck yeah feels nice oh look that light's green I'll never catch it it changes quick well this will have me sitting here for a while Ooh, here comes the rain again See him getting on my glasses. Oh, mama. It's amazing how much snow was here yesterday and how much is gone. I'm going to throw it on the center stand so I can uh, check nice warm oil. Love on this thing. And I'll uh, take it upstairs. A little old weaver. All right. Thanks for coming along for the rip. Ain't she Bernie? Holy moly. I should have left that camera running. Because as you can see, you can't see through them doors, but first anybody on the inside can. <clears throat> Matthew, our service rider, he was hiding behind that door. I stepped in there and about made me jump out of my skin. He leaped out and screamed at me. But I'm gonna put her because I know the oil is fully hot. I'm gonna get a little closer to the top of the circle. These uh, water boxers don't have an issue with going to the, you know, like certain sports, there are certain bikes that I tell you never, never, ever go all the way to the top. This one, I can put it just, I go just below the little red circle there at the top. And it's fully hot, so I know that's fully expanded oil. All right, boy, it's dumping out there now. All right, let me top this thing off and take it upstairs. There she is. She's all happy. Man, you can hear the rain pouring out there. If you're wondering why my tool's modified, this fit 
certain older ones. This is, um, I ordered this, had Kelly order it it's for a newer RT, so you can get in past the uh, body cover that goes across there. Well, on certain other ones, like a R9T, I think it is, or something like that, you know, you're supposed to just use a screwdriver. Well, the ridges on it stick up and it hits the tool. So I just took a die grinder and just cleaned her off. So it'll drop in that hole. Uh, you wouldn't need it for this because it's the same as, a, as an RT. Don't over tighten those things. That's one of the dangers of having a, a, gri a lever on it. Just snug her down. Nothing ever has to be forced down super tight. He's getting pretty close to the tire. That's what I was telling you guys about. He's got maybe 20% at best left on it. Front's okay. Depends on what he does. If he goes with a different brand of tires, just go ahead and put two new ones on it. All right, clean up my mess here. That's an Indian. For the older Indians, they had that weird oil fill cap on there. Then if you flip it over, it'll grab the ones with a handle. If it's stuck, somebody puts the puts it on too tight. You could use a plastic tool instead of. I see people grab them with pliers and scratch them all up. Knuckleheads. heads. Now it's time to go. It gets all pretty again. It was nice, quite a bit. It was off and on, but it was nice more than it wasn't nice. Yeah. But it wasn't raining. It only rained on me one time. Yep, and I got the service done on a BMW. Since I've got to take a first test ride, right? here comes the rain. Of course. Mother Nature goes, there's that smoke. He thinks he's going to get out there and ride that <laughs> motorcycle. We, we will got, fix him. We got something to show this boy. All right, Mama. Let's go. head to the Northland. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Well, hello there, you two. We're sitting here just trying to let the dogs, like, calm down a little bit. They're, like, ex exceptionally excited. Yeah. Mighty they're being loud. They're very loud mutts. Yeah. About all the way out at the street. They hear the truck. They know we're stopping at the, at mailbox. the uh, mailbox. Yeah. And they're going off and thinking, man, how many people hear them dogs? I know it. They got to cringe when we come home. Yeah, they're like, oh, oh dear Lord, dang, the smokes are coming home. home. Cause especially this time of year when there's no greenery, no foliage in the yeah, trees. It sounds just... no sound buffer. That travels. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Headings here. I know. wonder if they ever go, how many dogs they have in there? Don't count them. Don't count them. Yeah. You just mind your business. Mm -hmm. Your own business. There's <laughs> a pile of dogs. That's yep. all you need. There's to a know. pack of them. Mm -hmm. When the heat goes out, it's nice to try to keep them inside, but when that was going on, the snow was out and they all wanted to play. <laughs> I know. Nobody keep my feeties warm. Yeah. Crazy butts. Mm. Yeah, at least we've got a, I need, I need to drag that old Yamaha 6600 out. I was trying to think today, I don't even, I think the last time that thing was run when we lived in Silver Lake. Oh yeah, I can guarantee you that was a Yeah, so that's time. been 13, 14 years ago. Yeah. I should pull that thing out, make sure it's alive. I'd probably go cough, cough, cough yeah. webs up. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, if. It came to something like people in Portland. It's going to be a couple of weeks or whatever. Yeah. Is that that six six hundred will run your whole house? Yeah, that's not a problem. But it's it was a different. Very small tank. Yeah, but we had a different situation. Yeah. In Portland, the guy had the house wired. You know, you it's a breaker box that switches your power that goes to the you know the utilities. Because you can't back flush electricity through no. your house, because you'll you can yeah. take out a lineman. But uh, that was a unique thing. Plus, it only sat in one spot right there where that box was. It was by a door yeah. in the back of the garage. So you just point the generator, so the exhaust goes right out the door. That was nice. fire up. Yeah, that was a nice setup. Heaters ran, all kinds of cool stuff. That was really nice. Yeah. I was talking to the owner, Pro Caliber. And they just recently built a new house behind his first house, which I think his dad built, or maybe his granddad, I don't know. 
But uh, anyway, when they built it, it's set up for, for generators as well. That's a smart thing to do, especially mm -hmm. live in the Pacific Northwest. It's probably not a bad idea, no matter where you live. Yeah. Weather's getting crazy. Places that never see these temperatures and these snows and it's nuts. It is. I can't even see it in those Generac commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy down the road from us has them because I mean the power goes out and he immediately all his porch lights everything just I it think it goes out there. Yeah. Up and flip the switch. Because this house burnt down here year or two after we moved here yeah so it's a new house i bet you he's got it set up You're i would right. if i was to build a new house yeah it's right. like how does he like immediately have power so you feeding off of some line that it's can we tap in yeah stuff. i think it's one of those big house generator things years ago um honda made this v twin water cool or not v twin but a parallel twin water cooled it looked the older Civic motors, the old CVCC motors, um, it looked like a two-cylinder version of one of those motors. And it ran this big old generator. They're so smooth running. Ready to start up the turn. Really nice. But I was working at a shop. I used to go out there and, and service those things. It was for a, um, a caretake care facility or something. I don't remember if it was an old folks home or what it was, but that's cool. That thing would power this whole place. That was a big generator. It's not one you move around. It's one you plant it, basically. Yeah. And that's where it stays. But anyway, we've got a bunch of bags of pet food. That never ends. Yeah, never ends. Love them though. So. Yep. It just is what it is. The price of owning the dogs. Mm -hmm. Horse. Used to be all kinds of stuff, chickens, and yeah. multiple horses, and they're slowly going down. So. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we can roll. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. You know, I took my glasses off because it was raining. And we we're putting all the food in. And never put them back. Yeah, I forgot on. to put them back on. That's it. You're I playing. love that I can take them off and it doesn't go weird me out. I wore them all day up until then. That's good. Just forgot I didn't have them on. <laughs> all right. See you in the morning. See you then. Bye-bye now.